Hopkins River is an amazing estuary. We have an amazing estuary right on the doorstep of Warrnambool. It is quite a healthy environment. It's quite a diverse environment because it's an estuary, so it has periods where it's fully fresh and periods where it's very salty and a lot of mixing in between. So you get a whole range of species. Uh, provides a great fishery as well. But one thing it does like, particularly in the estuary, is uh, woody debris, which is really important habitat, uh, particularly for fish species. Uh, and that's something that Lower Hopkins hasn't had in it for a long time. This project's centred around trying to support recreational fishing in the Hopkins River. But it'll also help create more biodiversity by creating habitat that's suitable for multiple species. Fish have had a pretty hard time in Australian rivers. There's been lots of different impacts on our waterways from sort of historic land clearing, desnagging, uh, various sorts of waterway pollution. So anything we can do to help support the existing populations is a real benefit. So it's really important to get anglers involved in these projects, partly because they're a large river user, so they spend a lot of time on the river, they do a lot on the river, and they have a really good knowledge of the river because of that. So if we can tap into that knowledge to help guide our projects, it's really valuable to the CMA. The Hopkins River catchment has changed over the last couple of hundred years. So there hasn't been a lot of woody structure like we're going to see here uh, in the river for a very long time. And that's something that would have been naturally occurring, particularly after big floods and things like that. It would have washed down, settled on the flats here. But we just haven't seen that obviously for a long time. Uh, the flats here are actually quite bare and a lot of the eelgrass has disappeared over time as well over the last 20 odd years due to sort of climate uh, activities. Around the year 2000, we started with a, a period of drought which sort of lasted about 10 years where we had quite low rainfall. And uh, during that period, the eelgrass beds, which were really thick along this part of the river, actually started to die away. And uh, they haven't returned even 10 years further on. To see these habitat go in here, uh, in these areas, which are actually quite devoid of habitat, they're really just sand and mud areas now. So to see that habitat going back in here uh, in the coming months, it's really exciting. And hopefully, you know, that will reflect what was occurring in the Hopkins, you know, many years ago. These are the root balls. Uh, we were fortunate enough to receive them from the Bushfire Recovery Victoria. They came down from the flooding and the fires from 2021, and they will be used as new habitat and building structure in the water here for fish. It's really great because we are, we're taking something that would otherwise be disposed of and utilising it for something beneficial to the environment, especially down in this area by rebuilding functional ecosystems within the Hopkins River. So this structure is providing homes for the smaller fish which aren't currently in the river. So once it goes in, hopefully there'll be more fish, there'll be more protection as well, uh, and those small fish will get a chance to grow to a larger size as well. That means that it's going to create a healthy, thriving native fish population, whereby fish can play the critical role that they do in an ecosystem by upcycling nutrients and feeding awesome water birds, as well as creating and sustaining recreational fishing. Project like like these ones today will reverse those really detrimental alterations that humans have made to the rivers. So I think by creating stream diversity, we've got more resilient waterways and fish populations. Um, so obviously being at Deakin here, we've got the river access right along the front. So having a lot of habitat improvement right in front of the university, it's going to be really handy for myself. If you get bored after class, come down and go fishing for a little while and you've got a pretty good chance of catching a few fish. But as a study site as well, we'll be able to use this to sort of study over the next few years the effects that it's had on the river and the improvements that we might see. You're going to be able to provide habitat for all ranges of species. Having different kinds of habitats, you've got the rock walls, you've got the timber, different species prefer different habitats. Um, and also variations in the size as well. The bigger logs are going to be good for your larger fish, such as estuary perch. And they're going to attract smaller fish as well, um, gobies, shrimp, galaxids and they're going to provide large fish in there for a food source, um, but it's also going to provide a home for a lot of those smaller fish that may sort of struggle to find an area suitable in the rest of the river. And fish using the river as a highway, travelling from the ocean to upstream, they're going to be able to use these habitats just to sort of stop in and, and basically as a hotel, spend the night there and, and continue on the next day. So it's going to be really important for, for fish biodiversity. Uh, is going to be pretty exciting. I'm um, expecting some really nice big brim and estuary perch and maybe even some big mulloway to get caught. And when you consider that, you know, there's 10 to 15 kilo and even bigger mulloway living in this river, I'm sure there's going to be some uh, pretty exciting fishing to be had.
It's not just about the fish fishing, it's about being out in the environment. Everyone knows that if you've got a healthy environment, you've got a healthy fishery. So I know myself over the years, I've really got involved in tree planting, habitat restoration and all these other things. Uh, and that's come about as part of my love for recreational fishing. That's why it's really exciting to see these sort of things going ahead, uh, because you know you're doing something for the environment and also, you know, uh, to help enjoy your pastime as well.